delighted to be joined here at St. Commons Park by Longford Town striker Dean Byrne after the town secured a 3-1 victory against Cove. And going into the playoff against Cabinteely, it is a satisfying performance, especially in the second half and the result, especially when you consider that Longford usually struggle down here in St. Commons Park. Yeah, uh, before the game started, we looked at the weather and we were like, this is, this is going to be tough regardless of how tough it is to play them themselves, like they've always been a tough nut to crack. But uh, we've seen the weather and we're like, this, this is going to be a rotten one. Uh, but we, we dug deep because we knew we had to carry momentum into the playoffs now. Uh, and we're missing about six or seven of the lads who, who will play every week. But uh, the, the lads that have come in tonight, Adza and uh, Peter and Polly, they're outstanding tonight, absolutely brilliant. Like, and uh, it just shows the strength and depth we have in this squad. And for going forward now in the playoffs to have that, that these lads confident who weren't getting in who weren't getting every week in every week they, they lost a bit of confidence that allowed them the world to go to me yeah because Adam Evans scored two goals a header and his first goal was a fine finish controlling Hopkins Peter Hopkins cross brilliantly and shimmying to the right past Fleming and then turning again and drilling to the bottom left that was a stunning goal yeah yeah he does that every every second night in training like he, he's doing that exact same thing Peter as well like two three assists one. tonight yeah exactly yeah so when he's not he's not scored and he's assisting which is a, a massive help to the team like uh, and I'm delighted for the two lads because they're two of my close friends like, so it's great to see them come back in and get confidence behind them now and hopefully they can stay in the team for the next few And you got amongst the goals yourself Dean and uh, you are second, joint second top goal scorer in the league at the moment Yeah well uh, we said at the start of the season actually to, to the lads to the management I said uh, we need to we need to start adding goals to my game like, I was creative enough where I can uh, set up players and get assists like, but I wanted goals I wanted to get my name out there and uh, I'm absolutely buzzing with the, with the return for myself like, I'm, I'm not an actual out and out striker I'm a yeah. winger or where, so that's that's a good return, I think, for a winger. Like, so. It certainly is. And of course, after the disappointment you had last season with the injury, it's great to be here going into the close of season playoffs, being in full fitness for a long yeah, time. Yeah, like, that knocked me for six last season. Uh, it was my first full season in the League of Ireland, and to, to get an injury like that just absolutely knocked me. Uh, but I never had so much belief in myself to come back. I worked so hard in the off season, harder than anybody, to get back and to get going again. And I, and what, and massive thanks to Harden for helping me out as well. They know that I would respect them so much. So that, that set me up on a, on a pedestal to go into the season confident and it's worked out, thankfully. Now it's going to be tough to get promoted. The Longford Town will have to win three two legged playoff matches to go up. But it's very achievable. Yeah, I think, uh, as I just said earlier, the, the confidence in the team is, is huge now. Uh, I think since Barry took over, he's, he's gave each and every player. A responsibility on the pitch and everyone knows what they're doing each man knows where to go what to do uh, and we have a lot of experience in the team like the likes of Connor and Dean Zambra and Paulie now coming back in I think they can guide us to it, like the younger lads uh, who haven't experienced games like this before uh, and Paul O'Connor you mentioned there his touch tonight was fantastic oh Paulie was super he, he ran the midfield for us like for me and Jack Doherty like to have him behind us anchoring it gave us a lot of freedom then when, when the game started to open up like he, he he was brilliant, he talked all night and it worked out well for him. Well, it's great to get a victory here because uh, Cavantini won against Wexford. But that means we finished third in the table, only behind Drogheda on goal difference. So they have won uh, tie less to play to get promoted. So it's Cavantini up first, but crucially, the results tonight mean that Longford Town have home advantage in the second leg on Friday, October the 11th in the City Calling Stadium. Yeah, well, obviously, to be dropped the three times and still finish behind them, it's a bit, it's a bit annoying. But, even um, if only on goal difference. Yeah, even on goal difference. But um, yeah, no, we 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 look forward to the games. Like we, it's it probably works out better for us because we're not having a, a three week break from games. Like so, we'll have a week off next week and from from games. Like but we'll we'll prepare properly. We have two weeks now pre to prepare for the game, uh, and we go into Cabo and try and win it. Like that's that's the aim now is to win the two games. We don't want to be just going for results. We want to win every single game that we're playing now. And you have a great goal scoring record against Cabin Tilly. Yeah, yeah, was, that's, I looked, that's where I got my injury last year, but that's true, yeah. On on the other hand I, I like to play against Cabo as well. So I'm confident, I'm really confident at the minute in front of the goal. So uh, hopefully we scoring form can continue into the playoffs. Sure.